What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today in Vanguard, we got the pre-download for Season 2, and this is pretty common to get that pre-download where all the content is there within the download, but you don't actually get to see it until the season launches. However, we can actually see a lot of what's going on in Season 2, and we have access to it right now, at least in custom games for much of this. And the first thing you've probably already noticed, this is a brand new map that I'm showing in the background, so you guys can go and explore these maps for yourself, unless they come out with a hotfix that ends up locking all of this Season 2 content, because maybe it wasn't meant to be going live at this point in custom games. But I'm going to show you a walkthrough of the new map, so this one is Casablanca, which looks like a pretty cluttered and highly vertical map. There's a lot of verticality here, you can get like under a bridge, as well as way up into like a third story building. There's a lot of verticality and a decent amount of clutter going on this map, so I'm interested to see how this one plays out. It looks like there's some great routes that you can use for like shotguns and SMGs, and then there's some high points that you'd be using for assault rifles, LMGs, and those longer range sort of setups. Another thing you may have noticed is I've got a brand new gun in my hands. This is the KGM-40, which is going to be in the assault rifle category in this game. And we'll get into some more details on the new guns in just a little bit, because the first thing I want to show off is the new maps, and then I just want to briefly talk about the basic stats of the new guns. But there you go, that gives you a pretty good look at Casablanca. Now let's have a look at the second map that we have access to for Season 2. This is Gondola. And right up front, you can see why they call it gondola. These gondolas are going to be rotating around the map repeatedly, so you can just hop on, hop off whenever you like. We've seen stuff like this in Warzone in the past. These things are really slow moving. In fact, I'm going to actually speed up the clip here in the middle just so that I'm not wasting too much of your time sitting on the gondola. Seems like it's a pretty risky mood to be coming in one of these because it doesn't provide you with much cover. It looks like you can shoot through the walls of these very, very easily. And then when it comes to the rest of the map, it's fairly wide open for the most part. There's a few buildings located in the spawn areas, and then the one central building that's on the mountain side of the map. So I think generally longer range builds are going to be succeeding in this, although it does look like you have that inside route that you can take for your more close range builds like SMGs and shotguns maybe. So there we have it, that's our first look at the two new maps that are coming with Season 2 of Vanguard. Now let's talk a little bit more about the two new weapons that we're getting in the Battle Pass right at the beginning of the season. The first one is that KG M40, and we can see what the base recoil pattern looks like here. It kicks upward and to the right, not a whole lot of recoil on this. It's got a pretty decent rate of fire at 645 rounds per minute. And it appears to be a three-shot kill as long as you're hitting upper torso shots. Although, keep in mind, I do have to do a lot more analysis. This is just my first basic look at these stats. But yeah, what that means with our three-shot kill potential is we can get a time to kill of 186 milliseconds, which is really, really fast for that gun. And now let's talk a little bit about the Whitley, which is the new LMG that's coming. And this one has a rate of fire of 551 rounds per minute, so it's the slowest in the LMG category. And this one is also going to be a three-shot kill to the body. And what that means for our time to kill potential is it has a 218 millisecond time to kill, which is quite competitive. That's a pretty decent time to kill. It's a little bit better than average for LMGs. And this is what the recoil pattern will look like on that. You can see it kicks upward and to the right, and then it kicks pretty hard to the right, and then it settles back in into more of an upward and to the right sort of a setup. And it is also worth noting you can use 50 BMG with this as a magazine attachment, and that will turn it into a two-shot kill. So we've got possibly another competitor to the BAR or the Bren two-shot kill builds. Next up, another thing we have access to is the new score streak that's coming with Season 2. And again, this is only available in custom matches, but this is the Flying Fortress or the Ball Turret Gunner from COD World War 2. It's basically copied and pasted, which I'm perfectly happy about. This thing is an absolute monster, as you can tell. It deals a decent amount of splash damage, it seems. So if somebody is cooped up in a building and you can manage to get some shots in a doorway or a window, you can still pick them off in there. Also, it does seem like there's limited spawn protection. I think it's basically just that red indicator takes a few seconds after spawn before it pops up, at least as far as I can tell based on my very early tests with this. And it's also worth noting, the recent blog post that we got that described the Flying Fortress said that it will only last for 30 seconds. However, in my tests here in custom games, it lasts for a full minute, which is a very long time for such a powerful streak. This may be changing by the time Season 2 actually launches, but in its current state, this is extremely powerful, especially for how long it lasts. And yeah, this is basically exactly what I was looking for. I'm really happy to see this being added to the game. This game definitely lacks controllable kill streaks, especially on the higher end. So it's great to have this Balteric Gunner. Additionally, something that you've probably heard about by now, but just in case you haven't, Weapon Inspect is here. You can actually inspect your weapons now in Call of Duty Vanguard, although it doesn't seem to be applying to all of the guns. In fact, most of the SMGs that I've tried, you didn't have the ability to inspect, at least at this point. 
But if you do want to inspect your gun, on controller at least, all you have to do is hold left on the D-pad. I don't know exactly what the button is for PC players, but at least on controller, that is how you inspect your weapons. And aside from that, we can see like a bunch of new store bundles and stuff. I don't really care about the cosmetics. We can also see the two new operators that are coming. We have Anna as well as Thomas. And you can have a look at their bio and you can even see their little individual cinematics that shows a little bit of their backstory. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as I've seen so far when it comes to Season 2 content that we currently can see in the game itself. And of course, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What are you guys thinking about what we're seeing so far? What do you think about this map design that we're seeing? Do you like the looks of these maps, even though we currently don't have access to play them in public matches? And what do you think about the new weapons that are coming? Just let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.